32 films, 32 tracks. <laughs> All right, let's do it. The goal was to express very particular elements of their country, from rituals to you know, even just simple things like the food they eat, the way they dress, what they do on game day. Things like this we wanted to overlap with the videos. It wasn't like uh, going out there and making a commercial. It was more about uh, going out there and capturing real life and real people. It was important for um, the, the visuals to, to really fit in with what the music was expressing. Every country has its own samba, its own joy, its unique way of dancing with the football. So the 32 composers had to arrange the Brazilian song Maria Caipirinha using national instruments and rhythms. We had to make sure that all of our composers are working in the same musical key, in the same tempo, and the same structure without losing the groove and losing the beat. Because this music had to work with their films. Samba of the World is like an interactive music video experience. You drop in, you're in a country, at any point in time, you can kind of switch over instantly to a different country so that you really feel like you're traveling the world when you click over. A page explains all the national details of each Samba video, like the three women dressed according to the years Germany won the World Cup, or the Dutch girl wearing Johan Cruyff's legendary number. Seals from the footage were used in hundreds of social media posts, and the book was delivered to the visa clients around the world, which then helped on the output of the project. It kind of got everywhere. Samba of the World is like a 32-chapter story showing that although we are all different all around the world, we share the same passion for celebrating football.